Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, over the last couple of months, there's obviously been a lot of speculation about what the theme for Dokkan's 8th anniversary would be, because, at least for JP, it's literally starting next month, so we're very, very close, and I've been hearing people talk about uh, potentially a Dragon Ball Saga celebration with like a... Uh, Kid Goku and Demon King Piccolo Dual Dokkan Fest, or uh, maybe something movie themed like for the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie with a standalone Blue Gogeta and standalone Whole Power Broly. And of course, the options and the possibilities are endless, right? Well, now it seems like there's no more need for speculation because the official JP Dokkan Twitter page uh, about nine hours ago, as you can see here, posted a teaser video for the 8th anniversary and the caption or the uh, text here I guess just says 8th anniversary coming soon. So before I say anything else, let's uh, quickly play this video for you guys and then we'll talk about what it all means uh, after that. Okay, so let me just quickly pause my music and enjoy guys. And there you have it guys. So obviously it would appear that the theme for this year's 8th anniversary celebration is GT themed and more specifically Shadow Dragon Saga themed. So if we were to you know, guess what the dual Dokkan Fest, uh, the main summonable LRs would be this year. Um, I would probably go with, obviously, Omega Shenron is one of them. That's kind of a given, right? And the other one, I guess, would probably be a Universal Spirit Bomb Goku, right? I mean, that would make the most sense, at least to me. Um, the only one we have in the game, as far as I can remember, is the free-to-play one, right? The uh, int one, right? So, yeah, that seems like a solid dual Dokkan Fest to me. I honestly would have preferred uh, Dragon Ball Saga, if I'm being honest. I want an LR Kid Goku, but, um, you know, this is totally fine. This is a perfectly acceptable option to me. As you can tell, I'm not the like most hyped about it, but I'm definitely okay with it. I'm definitely happy with it. Uh, let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about this. I want to hear your uh, initial reactions because I know uh, a lot of people were hoping for something different, right? That's always going to be the case no matter what the theme is because someone's always going to be expecting something else, right? So uh, yeah, GT themed, Shadow Dragon Saga themed, um, and of course, definitely give me your predictions for what the Dual Dokkan Fest will be as well. I'm saying Universal Spirit Bomb Goku, and then, um, of course, Omega Shenron, and then for part two, maybe like a new LR Oob, possibly. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. You know, there are quite a few options. Now, the other thing that we have to consider is, of course, Extreme Z Awakenings, right? Because we do get quite a few EZAs these days with uh, anniversaries. So just taking a quick look at the Shadow Dragon Saga category, um, it would be pretty awesome if the Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta got an Extreme Z Awakening. Now, to be fair, he's still quite good. He's not nearly as broken 
as it used to be, but um, he's still very much usable, right, in today's meta. Uh, he does struggle a little bit defensively on harder events, and uh, that is an issue, but uh, for the most part, I don't think he needs an Extreme Z Awakening right now. There are definitely a lot of other units that very much require EZAs over him, but if he were to get an EZA, that'd be pretty sick. So he's a potential candidate for that EZA. Uh, of course, we also have some of the side units like this uh, uh, Nova Shenron, like the Oceanus Shenron. These two probably I would expect to get EZAs. And uh, from there, the uh, LRs have EZAs. Uh, this LR doesn't have an EZA, so maybe a potential EZA right there. Uh, it's too soon for the seventh anniversary EZAs, so that's not happening. And I was looking through this list, right, and I was like, a lot of these guys actually already have Extreme Z Awakenings, like the uh, HL Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, the Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta all have EZAs, uh, so does the Sin Shenron, Omega Shenron, the other Omega right there. Um, so there aren't really that many options, obviously the STR Oob, wait, hold on. Does Oob already have an EZA? Let me check. Oh, he does. I forgot about him. Okay, so he doesn't need one. I mean, he maybe does need one, but he's not going to get one because so far they haven't double Extreme Z Awakened units yet, right? So uh, that's off the table. Um, But yeah, basically I would be looking at like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, the Int one potentially as the big one, and then... Uh, some of these Shadow Dragons getting their EZAs as well for the celebration. And of course, something else that's almost a guarantee just based on the recent trends over the last couple of years. Uh, the 5th Anniversary LRs should be getting EZAs as well, right? I'm talking about the Tech LR Vegito and the uh, STR LR Gogeta. Those guys are basically guaranteed to get EZAs because we got the 4th anniversary LR EZAs last year and then the 3rd, no wait, hold on. It was 3rd anniversary and 4th anniversary last year, right? Yeah, I think all 4 got EZAs last year. Unless my memory is failing me right now, which is possible because I'm getting old, so. Um, either way, either way, it, it, it's very likely that Gogeta and Vegito from the 5th anniversary We'll get their EZAs this year. So that's also huge, right? And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting more info about the anniversary. Obviously, this is just a small teaser. Obviously, they're saving the big reveals for later this month, possibly sometime in early uh, February. And uh, yeah, get hyped, guys. A lot more info coming your way. I'll definitely keep you guys posted once we um, have that information. But for now, we got this teaser video. Give me your opinions in the comments down below. And uh, that's all I really got to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you like today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.